Well, I'm going to show you how to download and install a mod for Emergency 4. First of all, make sure that you set your downloads on the computer to download to your download folder. Go to the Emergency 4 mod download page, my page. And for this example, I'm going to use the Fairfax County mod. It comes in the mega format and it's pretty easy to download so I'll use that one. So we'll scroll down to that. Right, Fairfax County. Click on it. Click on this once and it will open mega. Simple click on download, it will say initializing and it will start to download. Now I'm going to do this in real time, that way there's no mistakes, it will just go all the way through till I've successfully installed this in your mod folder. So it will take however long it does. I've got it set that this will download into my mod folder. Uh, sorry, not into my mod folder, into my download folder. Your computer might be different than mine, so I suggest that you Google how to set your computer to download to your mod to your download folder. Uh, hopefully, this won't take too long. Just let it do its thing. Of course, if you want to fast forward it, you're welcome to do that. But I'm just going to do the whole thing so there's no mistakes. And if you if you ignore this recording thing there, that's not to do with anything. <coughs> it's just the actual recorder for the video. Nothing to do with anything else. And this is the same principle for most mods. Uh, apart from the ones that come in mod installer format um, and that one you just simply click on the mod installer and it will install it itself into your mod folder. There are a few exceptions to this version. Um, just depends how they've uploaded them themselves. Most will come in this format. Which isn't very long in the uh, context of things. I've known certain downloads take forever. That was me playing about. I'm about to turn the fan off because obviously you wouldn't be able to hear anything I say. We're nearly there.
completed and as you see you'll see it go down into the left hand corner and it will count down as it's just extracting the files onto the computer. That's it, it's ready. So we can click off that, don't need that anymore. We'll click off that, go to start, we'll go to this PC, or whatever yours one is, I don't know. And as you can see, you've got your folders, go to downloads. to move it a bit in the way as you can see I'd already done it before but it downloads to here I'll get rid of this one delete so if you've got your Fairfax County one that I've just downloaded and it's come down into my downloads folder double click it and it will open your 7 zip which you should already have installed on your computer. Simply click on that once, click on extract. Now in here, when you first get it, you'll get a choice to where to download. Now I've set it to my download folder. Click OK, and just leave it to extract. It's as simple as that. once again this will extract the file into the download folder it just makes everything a lot easier if you do that so you know exactly where it is no mistakes and as I say do this way of doing it you can do with 90% of the mods that come with the game just the odd few that are a bit different and we'll deal with them ones if we come to them uh, sometimes it's like watching paint dry but unfortunately no other way of doing it If you have any problems I'm afraid it will be something to do with your computer because as you can see this is working on mine and it should work on yours there should be no issues at all Done. Now I think I already installed this into the mod folder in the game so I'm going to remove that just to show you what to do. I'm pretty sure I still got it in there. Right so now if you check in your download folder there you go you've got 
it's downloaded into here, extracted into here, Fairfax County. If you open it up, double click it, that's what's inside, that's all the files you need to run that mod. Take it back. Now, I'm going to minimise that. Now, on this desktop icon, right click it, it will give you this option for open file location. And that's what's in your file location. This is all that runs the game. At the bottom you've got mods. Double click it and it opens up. So yeah, I did have it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that out. When you first get the game, this folder will be empty. Now I've got loads of mods, um it's just I just put them in to the mod folder as I need them to record my YouTube videos. We'll get rid of this. Um, just gonna. I like to keep my computer tidy, so I'm just gonna empty the recycle bin. So I don't like to have any clutter. <coughs> Excuse me. there you go so as I say you've downloaded it you've extracted it into your download folder right click open file location mods these mods are what will be whatever mod you've got in there is what you've already put in if you haven't got any in it's empty now we go to PC downloads move that across so you can see what you're doing right now you need to get see the Fairfax County one that's the mod that you want into that folder into your mods folder so you left click it and keep your finger on it and drag it across until it's in there until it's in your mod folder and let go click on continue You see, it's going across. Let it, let it do its job. And there you go. That's how simple it is to put a mod into the game. Now, when you right-click on this game now, I would always suggest run the game as administrator. You don't have to, but I would. When the game loads up, you go down to the modifications at the left hand side at the bottom click on it open it up and the fairfax county will show in there in red fairfax county click on it and then click ok the mod will load the screen will freeze depending on your computer I don't know how long that will last when the screen starts to move again that's when you're ready to load the mod click on free play and then you'll have a choice either free play or camp or challenge pick either which one you want to play click it the fairfax county mod logo will appear with the bar going across as the game loads and then the game will load the fairfax county mod that's the example in this one and i hope that helps you get your mods into the game thanks for listening